Sorry, it's, but it's been a while, and I haven't been able to get back to you guys on the part two of this tub installation video. Uh, today, we're going to be working on installing the faucet kit, the deck mount faucet kit, to the top of this tub. Um, so we're going to lay it back flat, and then I'm going to unbox the faucet kit and uh, see what's in there, see what tools I'm going to need to do that and uh, lay it all out on the face of the tub and then uh, hopefully get it installed. Alright, so now we've got the tub upright. I've got a little bit of a block underneath of this front end of the tub where the drain kit's assembled at so I don't do any damage to the drain kit. The, it's a piece of 2x4 underneath of the 2 feet in the tub. This is, I believe, the faucet kit here inside of this box. I'm going to unbox it and then We'll take a look and see at, you know, where we're going to put it and then uh, take a look at the instructions and see how it's supposed to be mounted up there. So far I don't think anything's going 100% by the instructions. Um, and we'll go from there. I need some hole saw stuff. And it also says half inch exterior grade plywood because they want me to reinforce this deck here underneath uh, to support obviously all this heavy duty stuff. So I'm gonna need to get some plywood and I'm gonna need to get some hole saws. And I think I think I should be okay to be able to carry on with this project. Alright, so I've gone shopping and I got some materials. I don't really want to draw on that and I don't really want to draw on the tub. But I kind of sort of want to figure out where the heck this faucet kit is going to go. Look here at the instructions. Let me see if I can get this here in the frame. Okay, that's on the back corner of the tub. So this rectangle here, it says recommended faucet location. That's the back side of the tub. The recommended faucet location looks like it's on the back side of the tub. This is on the front side of the tub. Oops. I'm gonna go off of this edge here on the tub. And there's this radius here, right? So I'm gonna kind of feel off of this radius it's kind of an estimate. It doesn't have to be this part. Doesn't have to be perfect. So long as everything kind of flows in line with this a little bit later. Where that edge kind of drops off there, and then where the edge kind of drops off there. We're going to say roughly about 13, maybe 13 and a quarter. Now we're going to go 6 inches out, because I didn't like the 4 inches. 6 inches out. We're going to go 2 inches in from this edge. Instructions here say that the valve holes are an inch and a half 
and the spout hole is an inch and an eighth. I've got a Lennox one and one, one eighth and one and one half inch hole saw. So now I'm going to take this piece of plywood and set it up underneath it here. And then I'm going to draw out the holes. Since it's being put back there where the faucet's going. I think I can tilt the tub up on its side and you guys can get a better view and I think I'll have an easier time working on it. So next scene that you see, the tub will be up on its side. Next step in the instructions is to install the supply tube. It also says to put this little plastic plug here in the end. It says to slide this supply tube with this half moon washer through here with a half moon washer facing the inside of the tub. Then that supposedly goes up here. Let's put this washer on there. Let's get this nut on here. tighten the nut. Here's the rest of the kit. If you take a look at this, you're going to love how Kohler did this. Da, 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 da. I don't know if you can see that. That is supposed to say cold. The instructions say to take one of these mounting nuts and thread the mounting nut. The instructions show right here these two interconnecting pipes are 2 and 7 8 copper tubing. Because I increase this distance, it says here for wider installations, adjust this length accordingly. So because the instructions said 3 inches away, I made it 6 inches away. We're going to add 3 inches to that, so that's going to be 5 and 7 8 copper tubing. is to cut one at two and three-eighths. The next step is to solder the connections. Now I see something that I think I did wrong already. I believe it's usually recommended to put a little bit of this flux here on everything before you insert it into there. This is a hose torch bottle of map gas. Before we light the torch up, you gotta have this before you light up the torch.
right, so the instructions say to do basically what we did, to remove the pipe plug and stuff. And then it says to cut off the spout supply here, uh, an inch and a quarter above the rim, finish deck, or tile. The next step is to install this sleeve here. And we're going to be installing that on the spout. It says to install it by applying a twisting motion. That's on there. Let's go ahead and get this tightened down. Now we're going to install the faucet handles. And if you look inside of here, inside the handle, you can see the threads. If we put this on here, there's nothing for this valve to screw onto. There are, however, these bushings that are included in there. These bushings seem to thread right on the end of here. Now the instructions say these right here. They call these right here the stem extensions. These go on the ends of those. Inside of that kit there's also Phillips screws. purest bathtub faucet mounted to a Kohler Mariposa tub. If you like this video or helped you out at all, please click that thumbs up button and of course do not forget to click that subscribe button. It really helps the channel. It'll help me and help encourage me to create more videos. Anyways, thanks for watching and join me for a part two or actually part three. Uh, when I go and through the installation of this tub and the rest of this disastrous bathroom project. Thanks for watching.